Okay, I just wanted to post an update on the jewel ringer circuit. So, um, right now I've got this running. It's connected to the uh, 9 volt batteries. They're connected back here. I've got a uh, 50 volt 9700 microfarad capacitor. Um, this is ex pretty much exactly like the original schematic except for these differences. Um, I wound this transformer myself. You can hear it buzzing away here. Um, I'm using a transistor that's different that I'll document in my next schematic. Instead of uh, diodes, I just have a pot right here that I can adjust. And I'm using this little neon here as a spark gap. So I've got my high voltage um, coming off the transformer here, right into this light in series, then all of these lights in parallel. And then um, the return from that's coming through the spark gap and then back uh, to this lead on my transformer. I do have it connected to the batteries right now. I'll take it off that in a second. I just wanted to show you what I've started to experiment with. I'm going to remove the power now. So we're off power here. It's still ringing along. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back it off here and just show you the, uh, the setting that it will just tick along on for a long time. Um, I've gotten impatient from trying to test the circuit running at these low levels. So what I like to do now is actually crank it and just see what kind of runtime I can get with brighter settings like you're seeing there. That's it's nice and bright. So that's what I've gotten into is timing that, seeing how long I can run at brighter settings. Um, measuring the amount of current it takes to run at those settings, those kind of things. I think it's uh, a great way to experiment and saves a lot of time compared to checking it on lower levels over half an hour or an hour time period. So, you can see we're draining out that capacitor. So yeah, that's uh, that test. I'll do a couple more here. Okay, I just thought I'd hook up the scope and uh, show the waveform here. This is on the high voltage um, output of the device, and you can see the uh, the ring. It comes along here and it spikes, and it, it has a nice uh, ring off of it. That's at 10 volt divisions, and the spike is uh, completely off the chart here, which is understandable. Okay, I'll just to show you the waveform on the uh, scope. I've got the uh, scope connected uh, between the transistor here and the negative of the capacitor. We're running uh, disconnected from the battery. You can see the waveform here. It uh, comes up nice and sharp, and it's just a nice, clean uh, sawtooth waveform. So I'm going to disconnect the, uh, the battery here. We're now running on just the capacitor. And I'm just going to crank the uh, light up, and you can see why I was thinking it would be interesting. Here's what I like. Here's what I propose that we start doing to measure some kind of efficiency on this. You can hear the. Uh, let me crank this up some more. I hope you can hear this on this video, but this uh, makes a siren sound. And what I'm proposing is we connect to our battery pack and we measure our current draw. And then we disconnect and we start timing and we see how long we can run on a capacitor pulling that amount of current. Now, I know now it would be pulling less current because we're less voltage in the capacitor, but I think we could factor in those, uh, those ratios. But anyway, as I say, and I'll disconnect here again. So we're running on just the capacitor and I'll just crank this light up here and uh, work on bleeding this capacitor dry so you can see there's max intensity that I can pull on this circuit. And then I'll do it again with a, a spark gap because it's very different with the spark gap. So here we are running. Um, we've got the spark gap engaged here. You can see the lights uh, really flickering, but what I'll do is I'll turn it up and some of that flicker will go away. There we go. You can hear the transformer <laughs> really buzzing there. So yeah, now we've got it running with a, a spark gap, transformer, disconnected from our batteries, off the capacitor. There are just so many ways to experiment with this, folks. One thing I tried is I took the high voltage output here in the same configuration that you see here, and I ran it into the ground with the light connecting everything, and the light got brighter. The frequency changed a lot. That was interesting. 
I'm going to crank this up and you'll be able to see that spark gap. Right, it just went out. Let me, uh... Okay, I'm on battery power now. I don't you know, totally freak out here. I just want you to be able to see the, uh, how the spark gap functions in this circuit. So again, another interesting thing. Really crank this thing up. Disconnect. And uh, try to keep it ringing in that configuration. Let me turn back off here a little bit so you can see here. You hear that frequency? How it stays the same for quite a while there? That's where I'm experimenting. I'm experimenting with the light cranked up, drawing a lot of power, and then seeing how long I can run. Listen, you'll hear it drop out of this frequency. Right in there. So it dropped out. Re-energize it and it stays in that frequency. So anyway, so I'll keep experimenting, pretty interesting stuff.